Okay guys, welcome back to the vlog. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Alright guys, welcome back. I know you guys missed me. It's been about three days since I uploaded, but today I got something different for you guys. I'm gonna be revealing my biggest secret that you guys probably don't know. A lot of you guys might know, a lot of you guys might not imagine. Not a lot of people have seen me like this, so not a lot of people know that I have this issue because I know how to cover it very easy. Today I'm gonna show you how to hide a big forehead. Yes, that is a problem. I know a lot of you guys have this problem. Not a lot of people know how to hide it. It might be common sense, yes. But today I'm going to show you what I do to hide my big forehead because like I said, you guys probably have never seen me with my hair up because I have a big forehead, but I don't like showing it off. That's one thing. That's my biggest flaw that I can say and that I'm not, that I don't like. It's my freaking forehead. But you know what? There's ways to work around it and I've discovered the best haircut for it and how to hide it and what kind of products to use. So with that being said. First of all, I'm going to show you what I use to keep my hair healthy and what to do to keep your hair, health, hair healthy. Okay, first things first. The products that you use really affect your hair and your scalp and all this stuff. So you need to use um, good products. It doesn't have to be expensive. Um, like what I've been using for a while now is me and my wife actually use this together. It can be used for women, men and women. Uh, we use Aussies. So... As you guys can see, we use, let me focus on it, I'll, I'll get out of focus so I can focus on it. The shampoo and conditioner, this will be, we've been using for, for a while now. And it doesn't leave no, um, what's it called, dandruff or whatever, at least they don't do it to me or my wife. So that's what we've been using for a while now. But um, I'm like a girl, not really, but I'm explaining why. Don't take it the wrong way. Um, I don't wash my hair every day. I know you guys might think that's disgusting or nasty, but I don't do that. And uh, I'll tell you why. So I've learned um, that you don't need to wash your hair every day because if you do, and from my experience, especially the type of hair that I have, if I wash my hair every day, my hair gets dry. And because uh, I, I used to do this all the time, I would wash my hair every day, and then when I would go to work, when it would dry up, I would go to the bathroom, put some more water, and it wouldn't help. It would make it even worse. And I tried so many different products, so many different shampoos. Just every, a lot of, I tried every product you can think of basically that's on the stores. And I even ordered some, even Vivalain, Vivalain or Vivalain uh, products that come from Europe um, to style your hair and conditioner and shampoo, tea tree products, everything. Nothing seemed to help except for these Aussie. That's what helped. That's what helped me the most. And I don't use shampoo every day if I if I do wash my hair I use only conditioner and not a lot just a little bit so I'm gonna show you guys how I wash my hair and all that good stuff but before I do this I gotta put this bad boy away because this is very valuable to me so we don't want to get this damage or lost you guys can see what I'm talking about all right okay I'm gonna have to take my shirt off Eh, now, no, I won't. My wife's gonna kill me if I do that. Guys, it is important to wash, to, uh, whenever you use shampoo, to use conditioner every single time. Trust me. Watch, this is my forehead normally. You guys see that? Forehead wide like an army tank. That's exactly why I don't spike my hair up. Now you guys know something that not a lot of people know about me. Look at that forehead, it's like a size six. And uh, this was actually, this actually made me feel very uncomfortable in school. Cause obviously you know, you don't want pe people to make fun of you, so. Uh, when you put conditioner, make sure you leave it on for at least two minutes. And not a lot, you don't need to put a lot, just a little bit. You see, you guys see this? This is sort of what it looks. You don't have to touch it, just leave it there. Don't let water fall on it, just let it sit there for two minutes. Once the two minutes are up, then you remove it. Okay guys, so look, this is how my hair looks right out of the shower after I use conditioner. And my hair's not that big right now, it's actually pretty small. Also, keep 
I, I don't know if you guys know know this, but it's very important to wash your hair with lukewarm water or like I always use this is what I do. I use hot water on my body the whole time I'm I'm in the shower, and then when it's time to wash my hair or whatever, I use warm water, sometimes even cold water. But I don't know. I, this might be a myth. I don't know, but. I feel like hot water damages your hair and your scalp, so that doesn't help your your hair at all, so I don't do that, so keep that in mind. Don't wash your hair with hot water, please. Your hair will fall. Okay, guys, so look. This is my hair styled if I was to have it up. Normal, like showing my forehead and everything. Look, and that is absolutely that is ridiculous like there's not one thing I like about my head like my hair like this it's ugly so now I'm gonna show you guys what to do to hide your forehead it can be done believe me even if you have a huge forehead like this look at this like size five or six Bear okay so now look guys so don't use gel don't use none of that stuff that's going to damage your hair, stuff that has alcohol or whatever. What I like to use is anything with olive oil or leave-in conditioners or just something light that's not even going to make your hair hard. That's all I use. This is a leave-in conditioner, look. And it's called Olive Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. Let the camera focus on that. It doesn't smell bad. At all, it smells really good. And look how it looks inside. I'm almost out. Looks like I don't know, like good looking. But now I'm gonna style my hair like I normally do. Bang all the way. All right. Sorry, the lighting is not that great in here, but I'm doing better. So, okay, guys, take a look. Let my hair dry. Look, apply this much. I'm not trying to show off or anything. Okay, now apply it on your hair and on your scalp. Okay, so now I have it in my head. Now it's all over my head and in my scalp, okay? So, get yourself one of these combs. Not, not one of these and not one of these. Or, one of these this look look what it does for my hair for my type of hair I got cor I got thick hair so this don't do nothing like it does not look good see watch you're gonna see the difference when I do use this comb so look you guys see the texture that's already adding to it when I use this comb it adds more volume now look okay now look what I do I don't even have to use a comb this is what I do every day Okay, look. Now I just put my head. Do you guys see the my forehead now? It looks a little different now. I'm not done yet though. But I'm getting there. Just trying to get some good light. Focus, baby. Focus. Okay. Keep styling for you guys. I can either do this and then bring it down, like I said, bring it down with my hand. That's, and I go as much, as low as I can, as low as my hair goes. Now look. Where'd that big forehead go? I'll let it focus. That's one way to style your hair. That's how I normally do it. But most of the times I go up like that. Make See how it added volume as soon as I went up? See? 
And I'm just showing you guys real quick. I'm not actually taking my time doing how I normally do. And then, to top it off, look, Aussie. Everything I use is Aussie. Just hairspray. Look, a little bit. That's all I use. See? My forehead's basically, my big forehead's basically gone now. And you see how I change, my look changes completely as soon as I change my hairstyle. And it don't take no time. After you get, after you get it down, I do it really. I get my hair done, fixed, in like literally two minutes. Look. Like I said, right now I'm not really doing it like how, all the way. I'm just showing you guys how quick it can be done. Hiding your forehead. Because it's very ridiculous going everywhere with a big forehead. Okay guys, so before I go, I'm going to show you guys the products one more time. And give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. If it worked for you guys. I know, like I said, a lot of people, a lot of you guys have big foreheads. Forehead wide like an army tank. Um, Aussie shampoo. Aussie conditioner. Aussie hairspray. Everything Aussie. I'm telling you, it works amazing. It worked for me. If it worked for my thick hair, trust me, it can work for, especially if you have thin hair and like hair that's very manageable, you can do basically anything. Thank me later. And with that being said, that's all I got for today. I hope you guys liked this video. Maybe you guys learned something today. How to hide your big forehead. So give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys on the next one.